this video is a joint collaboration between NESEC Business School in Paris and ISBIS, the International Society for Business and Industrial Statistics, on the occasion of the Year of Statistics uh, 2013, uh, which is sponsored by the American Statistical Association and the ISI, uh, which is the International Statistical Institute. Uh, the roster of speakers is a good mixture of uh, very well-known professionals, but also outstanding scholars. Uh, the role of a business school uh, in these videos, such as ESEC, uh, is that uh, in this business school we can merge uh, different competencies from marketing to statistics uh, to management to train what we call a data scientist in the Master of Science in Business and Analy Analytics, where we can mixture uh, technical skills with uh, communication skills, but also uh, knowledge in specific domains. Statistics is a language, mathematics is a grammar, and the area of application is a story. Statistics today has the unique role in what uh, we like to call the data-driven discovery age to uh, help decision makers in every field to move forward by providing uh, credible information in an intelligible way and the novelty is that this has to be done hand in hand with technologies. The role of statistics in the industry goes back a long way. For example, the revolution uh, in quality improvement uh, can be traced back to the work of Walter Schuhart in the 1920s. He used a data-based method called uh, uh, control charts to monitor processes and products and improve the quality. And this was considered a huge revolution. A second example is the use of designed experiments for improving product and process design. Big data for me means uh, it's a volume, a variety, and the velocity at which the data are coming these days. Um, it could be petabytes, zettabytes, and not only that, the variety that it is coming either in video form or text form, uh, and also the uh, data are very distributed. Different sciences are all being uh, data enabled. So the big data are playing in big discoveries in science, and that's where I think statisticians play a big role, a key role in uh, analysis of big data and, and uh, coming up with new discoveries. Uh, big data probably means data sets which are too large to fit into the computer so that to analyze them to be stored in the computer memory. From another perspective, you could define big data in terms of the size of the effects you're seeking to detect. If you're looking for a very small, or tiny phenomenon, then you need a, a large data set. Big data means opportunity. Organizations world over have a significant opportunity today to gain insights, valuable insights, from a vast repository of the data sources. Um, in this context, big data would be in the form of structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data, and from of various sizes and volumes. Big data are usually defined in terms of the four or the five Vs. Uh, instead, I prefer a different definition, which is uh, VIP. VIP can stand either for very important in prediction, meaning that we move the emphasis from statistical significance to accuracy of predictions, or can stand for V, which is the summary of all the four or five Vs, I for institutionalizing the decisions, and P as the pertinence or the relevance of this data, which refer to the contest. Big data is uh, relentless. It's continuously generated on a massive scale. It's generated by online tra transactions um, among people, between people and systems, and by uh, sensor-enabled uh, equipment. Big data is relatable. It can be related, linked, integrated uh, to provide highly um, detailed information. Big data is renowned. Um, publications like the New York Times, uh, the Wall Street Journal report that big data is creating new business um, opportunities and it's transforming uh, the way in which traditional businesses work. But what's really changing the world of statistics through big data is the explosion of analyses that are possible by non-numeric data such as text, images, and social networks. Statisticians need to be more careful while handling big data 
otherwise there would be garbage in garbage out oh yes absolutely it's changing the way we do statistics now the data are so massive that the data can easily tell us which model is a pretty good model without us having to do a lot of hand fitting so that's one way the world has changed is it's forcing a partnership between statisticians and computer scientists nowadays in order to handle the data sets that we are beginning to see one needs to focus on issues like data management and scalable algorithms and that's sort of new territory for statisticians but it's certainly going to be the wave of the future but the difficulty with this also is that if you have massive demands of data doesn't mean that you're actually collecting the right kinds of data so you might have a lot of data in certain air segments of your markets but not enough data on the others so you have to look at things like selection bias uh, you got to look at uh, data quality and you have uh, right kinds of quality of data. You got to think about how do you visualize this data? How do you look at this data? And how do you move through these massive streams of data quickly? Big data is more of an evolution rather than a revolution. Uh, sometimes the evolution is quite fast, but it's not, a, it's not a sudden change. I sometimes describe it as saying that we, we live in the most exciting of times for discovery, more exciting even than the times of great Victorian explorers, because the worlds we're exploring are unlimited. I believe that big data is indeed a revolution because it's the wave of the future and also it provides some novel challenges. For example, many of the techniques that statisticians have used for a long time, such as hypothesis testing, are no longer relevant if one has a petabyte of data. Sooner or later, I believe that the cost effectiveness of grid computing um, environments is going to bring many statisticians into contact uh, with big data uh, and I think it will be a revolution for um, many people working in the field of statistics. It is indeed a revolution. Um, organizations today can get insights that can change the course of their business for the better. I mean, For example, uh, a bank can today detect fraud in real time and act on it. Um, and outside traditional organizations, we can really solve the problems such as malnutrition, uh, sanitation, and hunger based on variety of data we have collected over uh, the last several years. Three key challenges. Number one, data discovery and in a continuous manner. Data is huge, hence discovery is important. Number two, speed to insight. Organizations that have speed will win. And the third, institutionalization of decisions from insights that they gain. These are three key challenges, I would say. I believe that statisticians need the ability to analyze unstructured uh, text data. Statisticians need to develop their abilities to communicate the relevance of what they do to other people uh, in their organizations. For many industries, a big challenge is going to be the management of huge amounts of data. This requires the use of analytics professionals. In other words, professional statisticians. Just as they use professionals for engineering work or accounting, drug development or financial analysis, or in their personal lives, doctors, dentists, lawyers, and so on. Big data are also providing some opportunity for uh, uh, false discoveries. And I think this is where statisticians will play an important role uh, it's not just black box uh, software tools. And I see that uh, visualization, presenting the data, the business analytics or predictive analytics, and communicating that very well with uh, all the disciplines is one of the challenges. What data should be collected? How long should it be kept? Where should it be kept? All of these are important issues that are coming up. What should be the analog of Neyman Pearson lemma, lemma when we are actually dealing with uh, big data, that's, that's an open uh, question, uh, something which cannot be answered satisfactorily by just using uh, classical, uh, classical statistics. For us, uh, the statisticians, I believe the most important challenge is to have the will to step out of the comfort zone uh, from the classical statistical paradigm to visualization tools, algorithms and soft modeling, because I think this is where the magic happens. But also for business and industry, there is a challenge, which is a cultural change to welcome data scientists in their companies and also to have people expert in these domains in their boards. To work as a statistician in any business, 
statisticians need to understand the core needs language of that business for a statistician wanting to do career in engineering industry it should be statistical engineering engineering is a k and statistics is just an ic i think it's true to say that the entire modern business and industrial scene has a statistical infrastructure it's built on statistics i think the biggest challenge is to get people to appreciate and recognize how fundamental statistics is